What's up you guys? It's Joe here with the banana on the boat. So today I am going to prove a superstition false. The superstition is basically you cannot bring bananas on the boat. It's really bad luck for some reason. But I really don't believe that. In fact, check these bananas out. These are definitely going on the boat. One thing I want you guys to know is that I am bringing some friends on board and one of them actually saved all his vacation days for this one special day and it's our lobster mani season. Now, he does know about the superstition, I just don't know his reaction, but he does understand that bananas on the boat is really bad luck. So he might get upset, he might not, I don't know, just watch the video. <laughs> we don't catch something. Why? <laughs> Our expectation is just one lobster. One lobster. Just one lobster. bananas on a boat one you're not allowed on a boat they won't let you be on a boat but I think the reason is because apparently if you have bananas on the boat it's a superstition where you can't catch fish you won't catch fish you won't catch lobster you won't catch anything that's out there no matter if you put the best bait best lure best anything exactly on the boat lobster got that first lobster two lobster three lobsters Obviously, we didn't do so bad. Uh, we went to five different spots within five hours and we limited out. We dove down, we fished, we didn't have any engine failure. Mind you, I ate bananas the day before, the morning of, and during 
the trip. I could tell you personally, I was a little skeptical in the beginning because I didn't bring just one bundle of bananas. I literally brought a whole case of bananas and Danny was not having it. He was like, I saved all these freaking vacation dates and you're gonna do this to me? You know about the superstition, Joe. Why the heck did you bring the bananas on the boat? And you brought a whole case of bananas. And I said, Danny, don't worry about it. I got you, man. So you know what? We ended up, like I told you, limiting out. Arrived back to the marina, safe and sound. We cleaned all of our lobsters and I made Danny a believer. Not only is he a believer, he's telling me to bring bananas on the boat every single time. So what did we do with the lobster tails? Well, we ate them, of course. We took them home and when lobster is fresh, I like to eat them sashimi style. I like to also take the heads of the lobster and make miso soup out of them. We also made a Bahamian dish where we baked the lobster and I also steamed a fish that we had caught. The rest of the lobsters, we bagged them up and we split it amongst ourselves. You guys, my name is Joe, but when I wear this shirt, you could call me Banana Joe. If you wanna see a catch, clean, and cook video, if you wanna see how I cook the lobsters, if you wanna see how I cook different dishes, that's what this channel is about. If you wanna just see how I test more of my luck with these bananas on the boat, on a jet ski, on a kayak, uh, on a cruise ship, I don't know. Just to test my luck, leave it on the comments below. If you wanna see an educational video of how I rig up my baits, how do I catch these things, or these fishes, these lobsters, um, leave it on the comment below. This is my first video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please subscribe. It's gonna help with the algorithm or just like would help anything. Anything for me to just continue doing this. This is my dream. This is my passion. I love fishing and I love cooking. Peace. You're serious? Like, I bought like seven cases of these freaking bananas and you give me the freaking ugliest bananas that there is? Bro, hard day. <laughs> Two lobsters. So, Sorry. Banana Joe. With the bananas. How many lobsters Oh my this time? god. <laughs> Who cut that? Cynthia. Me? Cynthia, what is it? I'm filming here. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wow. Banana. Round three. On the... Banana. It's, it's so much. Oh, it is. <laughs>